I've yeah. been to like uh, 15 countries. Ethiopia was my first, uh, last country was Mozambique. If you go to Rwanda, you'll say very beautiful ladies. Like I, you find that uh, sometimes the police ask you for money and sometimes you don't have money in your pocket. Mm -hmm. Let me go to South Africa first. Mm -hmm. Like Rwanda is, is a very small country. Hi guys, welcome back to my Kili channel. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your boy man came and kill it here once again with a nice video. And today I'm joined by a visitor who we are gonna interview about his travel. And his name is Elvis Derry, the king of YouTubers. Yeah, I'm, Mombasa, I'm, I'm really enjoying like the lifestyle here, man. Like it's so nice and things are not that expensive compared to Nairobi. Like I get like good and cheap as street foods. Yeah, yeah, man. So thank you so much, uh, man. Kill it. Uh, for hosting me on the show today. Welcome so much. Yeah. I'm gonna be asking Elvis some few questions. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe yeah, and subscribe, turn on. Subscribe. Yeah. Subscribe, turn on notification bell icon, and let's go on with the show. First question. So Elvis have really traveled. Yeah. How many countries have you been into? Uh, so far, I've yeah. been to like uh, 15 countries. Ethiopia was my first uh, country. The last country was Mozambique. Uh, when uh, the corona came to Africa, uh, the airports are closing. Yeah. So I had to come back home before the Jomo Kenyatta, that, that's the Kenyan International Airport. Before it, it get closed, like, I come back to Kenya. Wow. Yeah. Oh, were all those countries in Africa or outside Africa? Yeah, all, all were African countries. To my second question, mm -hmm. uh, you have said you have traveled to 15 countries. Yeah. Were you traveling for leisure, touring, or were you working? So those are three countries that I went to. Yeah. I, I went to work there, mm -hmm. traveling while working, filming, editing videos, showcasing uh, Africa in a positive way. Wow. Yeah, man. Like, so it was only work, working, working every time. Like, uh, like I had no sleep. <laughs> huh? <laughs> you, you didn't enjoy it. You, you go out, you film the whole day, you come back, you still have to edit. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. So it, it was just working. So Elvis, yeah. among those countries which you've traveled, mm -hmm. which one was your best and why? Uh, let me say um, South Africa first, mm -hmm. and then also Rwanda. Like Rwanda is, is a very small country, yeah, and it's like it's very very unique, man. Like also like it's so clean, mm. and also like the Rwandese people are so friendly. And then South Africa, like uh, if you see like the development. Also like the hospitality, like uh, we met so many uh, good South African friends there. Like they just were showing us around, taking us around, showing us the beauty of South Africa. Went to Johannesburg, wow. then Pretoria, like it, it was just amazing, man. Mm -hmm. So like the road, like the highway mm -hmm. from uh, Johannesburg to Pretoria, like it's so smooth. There's no portals, nothing. Uh, wow. Like I really enjoyed myself in these two countries. Yeah. Rwanda and South Africa. Yeah. So among those countries which you went to, uh, which one did you love the food mostly? Okay, let me say. Okay, for me, I'll give it to South, uh, to West Africa. West Africa. Yeah, just, specifically uh, Ghana. Ghana. I'll give it to Ghana. Yeah. Because like uh, they have like different kinds of like I forgot the name, man. Like yeah. they have the okra soup. Okra soup. <laughs> they have the jo Ghana jollof. Like ah. uh, like all those foods are they're so delicious, man. Yeah. Very very delicious. Wow. And so like uh, what I love about West Africa, West Africa food, like uh, they have like uh, different, like so many different kinds of food, not only just one or the same type. Man. So like every day you find like I was eating something new. Yeah. So Elvis, yeah. Uh, have you ever faced any bad experience while you are traveling around Africa? Yes, uh, uh, but uh, like sometimes uh, it's good to, uh, it's good to uh, you know, face some challenges so that you can learn from them. Am I right? True. Yeah, man. So like I, you find that uh, sometimes uh, uh, the the police ask you for money and sometimes you don't have money in your pocket mm -hmm. and because like Africa is corrupt yeah. okay Africa is very corrupt mm -hmm. so some some police they ask you for money and sometimes the money that you have you cannot give him yeah. because you also need that money True. okay and some of them uh, since for me like I, I don't I don't support corruption and I don't practice corruption so sometimes I just refuse to give them money even if I have the money I can't give them. Mm. Yeah, man, because that will be supporting uh, corruption, right? Uh, yeah. And, and this, at the same time, like, you're trying to fight corruption, but if you pay them, you're not fighting corruption. True. Right? Okay. Yeah, so, like, uh, let me say, like, in Gambia, uh -huh. in West Africa, mm. like, we are, uh, we are supposed to go to uh, to Ghana, mm. okay? 
but so you went to this immigration uh, office uh, immigration office at uh, the embassy yeah then uh, then uh, the the mission officer thought that we are recording inside so he tried to take my phone okay yeah okay but at first like uh, you know why t- you wanted to take my phone is because like he thought I was recording him because mm. he was asking people for bribe oh. okay so like he, he got so sensitive with it and I called the police on me like I was just there in the embassy I, I think maybe you have seen the video yeah, maybe so, maybe yeah. most of them have seen that. Yeah, so we had a, an altercation with them at the embassy. They were just pushing me around. They were tearing my my shirt. Mm. They were so aggressive. They wanted to take my phone, but you, like you know, like if they take your phone, you never see it again. Yeah, true. Okay? That's so, so like bad. I was holding my phone very tight so that they cannot take my phone away. True. Because if they take my phone away, how will I communicate with my family back home? Yeah. Also, like in Zambia, we are just walking in the streets with our cameras. And this one guy he came and told us, "Hey, look, why, why, what are you guys doing here, filming with these cameras?" Yeah. Okay. So they asked uh, for our passports. I was carrying my passport. Uh, he gave them my passport. Mm-hmm. Then they called the police. We were taken to the first uh, station, the mm-hmm. police station. We stayed there for a while. Then uh, we were taken now to the uh, to the vigilante house. Mm-hmm. Now in the main in the the main uh, police station. Mm-hmm. So we were just being interrogated, and uh, you know at the end you know what what, what they asked for money. <laughs> <laughs> True. Huh? Because they saw like uh, we are, our papers are, uh, are legit. Good. Yeah, legit. Our documents are le- legit, and they saw like what you are doing, the work we are doing, mm. it should not harm their country in any yeah. way because they are promoting their country. True. Okay. Mm. So they like they they took all all day like just from morning to evening, just in the police station. What? So like that day was a waste. We didn't film anything. We just went back home. That was so bad, man. Yeah. So like uh, you pass, you pass through like weird things when traveling. Yeah. But you have to keep on pushing yourself because nothing is easy, man. True. And yeah, nothing is easy. So if you want to travel around, not only in Africa but around the world, sometimes you have to be prepared in to to, to see some things. You know? Those are like at first. Uh, when I started traveling, there's some things I was experiencing but I didn't understand. But as time went by. And I saw that these things, it, like it happens everywhere, not in, only in this country or that country. Yeah. Okay. So Elvis, yeah. what have you liked most while traveling around these countries? Yeah, man. Like so, so many things, man. Mm. But uh, the most important thing uh, what I've loved is because like our African brothers and sisters, they, they have been so uh, hospitable. Mm-hmm. Okay, very friendly very welcoming in some countries you go like you find people uh, who maybe watch your videos they will love oh, to wow. take you around uh, uh, help you uh, you know learn more about their countries people have been so friendly and I think that's the most important thing because they show that uh, we are one people true no matter if you're coming from uh, Zambia or Kenya or Nigeria we are like your own we are all Africans true. like uh, the food man like Africa is so blessed like in every country you go to you find something new that you have never tasted before wow so like uh, each and every country is, is, is so unique, man. It's, mm. it's very unique, and uh, I think those are the two two things that I really love. So mostly life. food and yeah. how people <laughs> behave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. People say that traveling is so costly. Is it true? Yeah, it's it's costly, mm. but you have to uh, work hard for it, man. Yeah. yeah, you have to work work hard for it. Because for me, like I always work, work, and uh, when I get the money, mm. I I travel because I know that that the work that I'm doing like yeah. I'm investing True. for the future. True. My son. So even this, all, all this work that I'm doing right now, this is just an, an investment. True. Because I know, like in future, it will, it will, uh, it will have more fruits, man. Right. Totally true. Yeah. Right? So Elvis, which yeah. country do you want to go next? Right now, I'm thinking of Ethiopia. Yeah. Why? Why Ethiopia? Because, uh, like, uh, uh, the first time I went to Ethiopia, like mm. it was a uh, transit. Mm. Okay, so like I said, uh, in a hotel, like I, I don't, I forgot the, the hotel name, but I said in a hotel like for one night. Yeah. And uh, like I, I didn't, I didn't get the chance, you know, mm. enough chance to go out and experience. And uh, because it was at night, man, like I arrived uh-huh. at night, so like I didn't go outside to, you know, to go and film and just walk around and see. <laughs> so like I would really love to really go there and uh, see yeah. Ethiopia, experience Ethiopia, meet the Ethiopian people. True. Okay. Like also walk around, like I also eat some Ethiopian food. Uh, Angera. Have, yeah, the Angera. <laughs> and raw meat. Yeah, and also raw meat. <laughs> yeah. I would really love to try that, man. Yeah. Yeah, wow. yeah man. so I think uh, Ethiopia. Hmm. Then uh, later on, uh, East African countries, because I've, I, I live in East Africa, 
but I've never been to most Africa, most East African countries. Yeah. Like I will go to Uganda, Tanzania, mm. just showing you guys how uh, you know these countries are blessed and unique in their own ways. True. So Elvis, yeah. since you have really traveled a lot and it's mm -hmm. taking your time, yeah. do you get time for your family? Uh, let, let me say, when, when I travel, like, let me just say no. Like, yeah. When I'm going to film, like, like I'm always uh, hooked up with so many uh, work, you know, just filming the whole day. So it's like, we find sometimes like I talk to my family members maybe uh, twice or thrice in a week. Oh. And sometimes I can go away even for like four months. You know, so like I used to go away like for three months, four months. Then I come back like after five months. Mm. Yeah, I just see my family like like for one month or maybe some two weeks. Then I then I leave. So again. like uh, they always miss me a lot. Yeah. Like right now I'm in Mombasa and they're, yeah. they're really missing me. Yeah. But at least also they also uh, found something else to do. Uh, they have also traveled. Yeah. Uh, they are. I don't know where they they went, but I know they are having some fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's nice. Yeah, but uh, like I always miss them so much, and they always miss me so much. Yeah. Yeah, man. But uh, we have to work, man. Like when you're still young, you have to work and get the money. Man. You have True. to. We need the paper. Yeah, so that yeah. we can invest while you're young. Yeah, invest while you're young, and then retire when you're. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're young too. <laughs> True. So Elvis, yeah. what can you advise people who dream to travel like you and they keep on pushing it in front? Okay. What can you tell them? Uh, so uh, for me, like what I would say, like uh, first of all, you have to be disciplined on how you spend your money. Okay. True. Also, like uh, you have to have a very good budgeting. Mm. But also, you like really need to work very hard. So like you have to have good connections. Man. Like for me, like everywhere you go, I always try like to create connections and also like. Uh, uh, maintain good friendship yeah. with people okay? True. because uh, you never know maybe uh, the next day maybe someone will uh, recommend you to uh, to go and uh, work in a company or something mm. so like you just uh, uh, have good uh, relationship with people uh, have uh, you have good communication skills with uh, with people yeah so like I uh, try to learn man like uh, if you don't know something just uh, go and google about uh, uh, let me say if you don't know about Mombasa, yeah. you know, find a friend, man. Like, I have a very good brother right here, man, kids. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like, uh, he's so nice, man. Like, he's taking me around, showing me around how Mombasa looks like. Thank Telling you. me to go and eat at the Mkwaju. Yeah, uh, Mkwaju thing. Mkwaju Senior, Mahambri, Kaimati, Ujuanazi. Ujuanazi. Yeah. Yeah, man. Also, like, uh, uh, just push yourself, man. True. Just be, even right now, like uh, my YouTube channel is all that big, mm. but uh, like I'm, I'm still investing on it, uh, filming videos. Yeah. You know, because uh, at first it will take money away from you, True. but uh, later on, you get even double the or triple the money that you've used. True. Uh, you have to have self control, okay? Because you find some people uh, when they travel, they they spend too much money. Mm. They, go, they go to the clubs. True. Like personally, for me, like I don't like uh, drinking or, or smoking True. cigarettes and all that. True. Like I, I don't like. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But I have friends who do that. True. Yeah. But for me, like those things, I, I don't like. For me, I just focus on my work. Yeah. Okay. I just do my work. Also, like uh, if you are a man, you know, like I want to advise my fellow men out there, like. Uh, if you travel, like you'll see, like so many beautiful ladies, man. Like, if you go to Rwanda, you'll see very beautiful ladies, all those countries, in South Africa. But uh, you have to control yourself, okay? True. You don't, you just don't go there and spend your money mm. there with the women, True. because they'll see you're you're a you, you're a foreigner. You come from, you come from a different country. They would want to, okay? But you have to be smart. You have to be smart and uh, you learn how to say no to people. Yeah. True. And no is a no. Okay, mm. and just focus, man. Like, uh, know how you use your money. Mm. Okay, yeah. And uh, if you learn those skills, then uh, you can survive anywhere. Mm. You just go film, you make your money, and uh, you go back home. You see your family for two, three weeks, then you travel again. It's okay. Yeah. So work hard. Uh, be consistent. Be consistent. Consistency is, is very, is very important. Like right now, I'm in Mombasa. I'm trying to be very, very consistent. Uh, filming every day. Yeah. Like since the first day I came here, you've been like, recording. Yeah, like, like I said, recording Mombasa videos while, while I was in Nairobi. You know, wow. my trip from Nairobi to Mombasa. I said in Nairobi. Yeah. Then when I came here, like the next day, I woke up very early. I walked around um, Tropa. I yeah. think we, we met the next day, right? Yeah, the next day morning. Yeah. The next day morning, we we were just walking around um, Tropa, just 
just to try to adjust and see what's really happening in the streets. True. Yeah. Yeah, man. So, like, uh, like I've, I've really enjoyed myself and, uh, yeah, man. Be consistent, hard work, uh, be disciplined. So, guys, we have come to the end of the video and I want to ask Elvis to say any something else before we end the video. Uh, what, what I would, I would really love to say, uh, please support my brother right here. Because remember, it's all about supporting each other, supporting our local content creators, man. Our African brothers and sisters, to support my kids right here. Subscribe, uh, subscribe to his channel, yeah. turn on that notification bell. And uh, because like you, you see like uh, his content, man, uh, the best content here in Mombasa. Trying to show you, uh, trying to show you Mombasa, man. This is the biggest uh, YouTuber here in Mombasa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. The biggest issue. Yeah. yeah man, so support him yeah. and subscribe to his channel. Thank, so, thank, thank you, you so, so much, much for watching this video. By the way, you can end the video by talking uh -huh. some little Chinese. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you get it. Uh, uh, thank you. 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 Thank you.